Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, so you know what that means. Mini Monday Madness. We're painting a sweet little bird in a little shell, kind of hatching with some spring greenery mm -hmm. around it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll try and answer them. I also go over this step by step, so no need for a traceable, but if you want like a traceable, you can get it on my Patreon. Also, um, please hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And like I said, um, you can get the traceable over on my Patreon. I also have an additional extra traceable over there that kind of cute that goes with this. Um, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a place people go and support my channel. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, and a live stream on the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And you can check it out right up here in the corner in a second. Boop, the little thing will pop up. So without further ado, let's get painting. Okay, so we're gonna go over supplies. I have a just a three inch square of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, I have paper towels, I have my Princeton eight long round. I'll be using this mostly uh, because it's got a great point because it's new. I don't think I need a smaller one than this. Um, if you do need a small one, use it number four. I have my water jars up here and paper towels close by. Um, if, you, Like I said, if you're on the Patreon, you can download the traceable, but I can just teach you how to draw this cute little bird in the shell pretty quickly. So basically think about shapes, right? Uh, oh, flying pencil. <laughs> so the shell, let's just think of a smile, right? Maybe it's better if I use a marker so you can see. A uh, little smiley face. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And of course, those little cracks. See, little cracks. Bring it up. Ah, crack, crack, crack. The shell cracked. And so for the bird, again, think of shapes. Sticking out, right? So the bird's going to be kind of rounded. And then the head rounded off that. So it's like a circle kind of filling in and then a little half circle again for the head. Now we do a pencil first and then you can go in and fill in the detail. And then for the wing, right here in the middle, sweep out, curve line and then bring it back and there you go for the wing. So now that that's penciled in and then the beak, you know, think of the triangle, right? But an open triangle and then the eye circle, but we're going to kind of curve that and curve that. So now that we have our circle, put the little fuzzy feathers in the head. See that? Then you got the eye, which is kind of like a nice circle, but then you put like a little half, you know, like upside down U and then go like that. And then we're going to fill in the eye. And then for the beak, the triangle, triangle, and there's the beak. And then the wing, curve, bring the line in. Like that and then so the other shell the small top shell think of the same thing here again little cracks but then you're gonna do another half you're gonna meet it halfway here and that's gonna be the inside and then this one too is gonna out, go out here and out here so you slow this video down and you watch me draw it and that's the bird now I have a lot of bird tutorials just basically put a bird in a nice little hat shell okay <laughs> Okay, so now that the bird's all drawn out, I have my traceable all in here. And uh, now we're just gonna mix up some colors from the egg. The egg can be any color you want. You can make it brown, white, yellow, pink, blue, doesn't matter. I have this color here called um, Verdier Blue, which I love from Holbein. It's a nice like robin's egg blue. You can water this down a little bit. I'm using my Pritsnip 8, like I told you. I have this great color here, uh, Neutral Tint. Water that down and you mix the two together. It's a nice gray tone, blue, just like that. I might even use some ultramarine mixed with the neutral tint also. So you get three different blues going here. Now, and we want kind of a gray, deeper tone inside the egg. So on the outside of the egg, we're just gonna take some of this blue. I'll zoom in a little bit, hopefully I'm gonna zoom back out. <laughs> and we're just gonna wash in this nice, pretty Brodier blue. If you have too much water, it's always good to have the paper towel close by. And you just go right in here. Place the color. You 
you can try and do the both the eggs at the same time, but I wouldn't suggest that because we want to get dark on this side. So it's very wet, so I'm just trying to push this paint around right now. See this? Just covering the whole egg. And now that that's nice and damp, you can take those grays and blues, whatever I have, have that mixed in, and you can kind of just bleed in some color here, especially where it kind of meets the egg over here. Um, we can do some speckles on the eggs. It's kind of bled. It was really kind of really wet, so it bled a lot. Not necessarily want to do that. Going in and add some more of that color here. So take a little bit of neutral tint here, mix it in with the Verdier Blue, a little more concentrated. We can kind of just tap in with the tip of our brush. Some nice little dots like it's been speckled. Kind of like a robin's egg. You can even just get more of that neutral tint. You see I'm just kind of just tapping in the color here. Might grab some of that ultramarine blue too and put it right up in this next to the egg that we have here. A little bit up in the tip here and on the bottom. Because it's gonna be a little shadow from this egg. We do want to just kind of smooth out the egg also. You see that? Smoothing it all out. Adding some deeper tones up in here as well. And then again, smoothing out. Now again, you can take some neutral tint and add some of those speckles right up in here. And of course, we'll have to wait till this all dries in order to start to go on the inside. We'll just play around with that. We can try to start to play around with this one. Just be careful not to hit the side, it's very wet. And if you feel like it got a little too dark, you kind of lift up the paint. See that? And push it on the paper towel. And you can go back in and add a little more color. I'm, I'm gonna lost some of my Verdier blue, which I liked. I'm just gonna go in back in and add some of that pretty blue. Ooh, it's a little too bright. I'm gonna push that around. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in this little egg here. I know the egg kind of changed the color a little bit. That's okay. We're playing around with the colors. Same Verdier blue. Smooth out the edge. And then you can do the same thing this top half of the egg. Just keep this part next to this part pretty light. So you can just kind of speckle in some dots that we had before. Maybe like more on that one side and then kind of on the top and on the edge a little bit. Grab some of the ultramarine blue. I don't want to get too crazy. I am going to go back in here on this section add some more deeper color here because we want this egg to be separate from that egg. Now this is drying we could take the tip of our brush with some neutral tint and kind of go down that crack. If it's too wet and bleeding just wait till it dries a little more. So here it's a little too wet. I will have to fix that when that dries. All right, so meantime, I'm gonna grab some of my burnt umber paint and we're gonna work on the bird a little bit. Like a little brown with some neutral tint. Got some neutral tint here, mix it with the burnt umber. Water this down. And we're just gonna take the brush, kind of just push in little marks around the beak and up here in the head. Grab some water, kind of push in this brown tone paint. You see how I'm doing that? Kind of keep it light around the eye. I grab some more water. See, it got really wet right there. 
just want to push in this collar a little bit lighter around the eye and the back of his body. It's even as all that extra water, you don't want too much of it. Just kind of lifting it up. I'll go back in. Oops, see, bleeds too much. We don't want it to bleed too much. Just taking the tip of my brush, I'm just kind of dabbing the the paint around. You see that? Tap, 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 tap. Again, if it's too dark, kind of lift it up with some water. See, I'm lifting, grabbing some water, I'm lifting it up, making it lighter. See, I'm just push that paint around, really pale, and then filling it in here. And the wing, fill this in a little bit darker. Take your time with this. I do want to keep it light around here on the eye, so I'm going to go back in with the water. I'm just going to clean this up, push this around, kind of blend it. There we go. Then, boom. <laughs> and let me grab this neutral tint again. I mean, excuse me, burnt umber, and I'll grab some neutral tint. I don't want to have a lot of water, and I'll tap and take the towel. I can go back in and make these little marks. Little feather marks. Let me zoom in so you can see. See, just making these little ch -ch 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 -ch. light little dash, kind of swinging it out this way, swinging it out the other way, swinging around this part of his body over here. Again, ch -ch 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 -ch. just little marks for now. Grab some more of that darker tone. That's the wing right here. We'll get a little bit darker in the back of the wing here. Add some more brown, grab a little neutral tint. See how I'm getting a little bit darker? And fill that in. And this part right here is gonna be gray. It's part of the shell. And it's gonna be darker down here where it's meeting the shell. So we'll get a little bit darker with this brown. And I'll add a little neutral tint to that. See, so still making these little dash marks, basically. See the movement of my brush? Do, 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 do. <laughs> With the sound effects. And I'll go back up here again. Not too much, though. I don't want it to. I want it really pale. Can add some concentrated of the burnt umber and some neutral tint together again couple little dashes here, more gray tones going up here. We're starting to build it, you see, we're slowly building this delicate little bird that's been birthed out of the shell. Grab some more of this gray. Ugh, sorry, it's not getting on my brush. I don't want it black and I don't want it you just got to grab a little bit and see it got a little too black. And the brown. There we go. And then here's the wing. It's kind of this slowly building of the tones. I have that neutral tint, which is kind of like a nice gray. All right, we'll step away from that for a little bit. Clean off our brush. I am gonna use a neutral tint. Mix in with some of that burnt umber. So it's a different kind of gray. Water it down, and then I'll tap it on my paper towel, and then I'm gonna put that gray on the inside of the shell. And out here in the corner, in this inside of this shell, Just like so. And then we're gonna put some darker tones. So we're gonna take some more of that neutral tint, concentrated mixing with the color we had, and just start tapping in. It will bleed naturally, because that part's wet. This is the top shelf. 
Here we go with the tip of our brush. The cracked egg top, tippy top. See how it's just naturally bleeding up because it was all wet here. I'm getting even a little bit darker. Put some little cracks. See in here too. Taking this tip of my brush, getting that almost concentrated neutral tint color right inside that egg. Then I'm going to go alongside the shell and wiggle it for the cracked part of the egg. Kind of break it up here and go back here and put it here for the inside egg. You can put just a little bit outline on the top of this egg out here. Now I'll clean up my brush and I'll just kind of push that paint around. I want it lighter than the inside gray. See how I'm kind of maneuvering that? Just take your time with that. And then see this is just like this white part. You want to kind of blend it. Same thing. Kind of blending it so it looks natural shadow, not this fake. Now here, this is kind of blending too much. You want to go in and take some of the blues that we had and make it a little bit darker here. It's got a hard edge right now, but you can just take some water and you can blend it. So I'm making that dark. See, I'm tapping the paper towel. I'll grab some water and I'll go on this side and I'll just kind of blend it out. And that's how you make a soft blend. Push it out this way. See, now you can see the distinction between the two eggs. Before you couldn't. And then I'm going to go back to the wings. Okay, get that dark brown tone under the wing here. Like a couple dashes in the belly. Again, you get. <laughs> Sometimes you have to watch out for those neutral tint dark colors. Going in and adding some deeper browns, and of course, over in here. Again, back in here. Slowly building this brown. A little bit darker up in here. Not too much though. I want to keep it kind of light, like I said. Make some little marks with the browns on the wing. And like keep it light. You can always add some like white wash, like feather marks later too, if you mess up. Alright, I'm gonna blend that all together. All right, for the beak, obviously, yellow, but not just bright yellow. I'm gonna mix a little uh, cadmium red light, make it look an orange yellow, and a little burnt number. It's like a yellow, brown, orange. Very minimal water. Just gonna fill that in. So you keep trying to take off that excess water on a paper towel. And there you go. There's a tiny little painting. <laughs> when this dries, we'll go put a little shadow. Now, let's play around with the outside of the shell. We can add some greens. I'm gonna take some peacock blue and some yellow. Get some nice greens going here. More yellow. Just make like a, almost like a, a fern, kind of curl this little thing here. And you just kind of wiggle out those little lines. So it's like a little fern. I'm going to add some fun greens and some sticks. You can take that neutral tint. You know, because it'll be coming out of like the, um, the nest. So some brown twigs kind of just kind of floating over in here out this way on the ground you can add some greens little grasses it's the things you just add to make it different 
I'll take that green and I'll put a little greenery here, just a little teeny leaves on this little stem. Just really delicate and pretty. Now, like I said, if you have trouble with the number eight brush, go use the four. I'm making these teeny little things. You can add teeny little flowers and put some more stems out here. They could be more brown. You can add some berries on these. Get real creative with it. I have, you know, I'm, I'm actually painting some that's different in my actual um, traceable, but that's how it, I kind of intuitively paint. Putting some greens down here. Might push them around a little bit. I see, I always have that paper towel close by. I'm kind of removing some paint. There we go. I think my intention originally wasn't to put some greens down here, but you know, sometimes it just happens. Just kind of pushing this green around. I don't know what I'm going to do sometimes. I'll put some little greenery on these stems, and then I'm going to add, we have a lot of blue and green, maybe some red berries. So I have that cadmium red light. I'm going to add a little magenta to that, brighten that right up. Just put a little bunch of little red berries, or it could be little pink flowers. It could be blackberries, blue. You could make them deep, deep blue. Don't have to be red can actually make some pink flowers. So I have some bright rose here. I'm playing with around all my colors today. Water down the bright rose. I can put little teeny pink flowers in here because we want to keep it spring-like. And all I'm doing is, you see, I'm just making these little ch -ch -ch marks for the spring flowers. And I can put one up here. Just really simple. I didn't do anything special, just kind of moving the paint around. More pink. Same thing over here. Just indicate flowers. And you can go back in and add some gray, uh, greens and some browns or like grass and twigs. Make it a little bit darker by adding some Prussian blue. See? A little bit darker under this shell. And you can get even a little bit darker still in here. So I grabbed some neutral tint and mixed it with some of my greens. So the shell is kind of really highlighted. You see that? Just kind of pops out a little more. All right. For the eye, I'm just going to grab some neutral tint, tip of my brush. So I'm going to do the circle, or well, semi-circle. And then I'm going to appear, and then I'm going to go back in and fill in the circle, except a little bit of the dot. And then we have the eye. And then that beak, I take some of this burnt umber. I'm just going to go fill in the inside of this. A little bit on the outside of that. See, it's highlighted now. And see, it's kind of all washed out here, so I'm going to go back in and grab some of those two colors together. You see them here? Kind of play around with adding in. I always have the paper towel close by. Little marks. Just, it looks a little washed out. I'm gonna just kind of play around with getting that all in there. Highlighting the bird a little more, this feathers and the wing. See, I'm just doing all those little dash marks so I really feel like you can see his little feathers. I'm getting a little deeper again still on the bottom here and then a couple little dashes up top and it's sweet now you can go to town playing around with all this stuff here get the neutral tint again and outline that little egg and just fill in the shadows in here and this is just tweaking. You're going to add like branches, um, more floral, fauna, whatever you want to do. You know, I might do another little curly cue here, a little vine or something. Just have fun with it, guys. I don't know what I'll do. I'll just add some little things like that. 
Just do some little dots. Now I'm just going to go in and take the tip of my brush and grab some of this concentrated yellow. Just kind of tap it in here. Highlight some of this in here. Put little yellow flowers out here too. Just little sweetness. All the little touches you can do. Have fun with it guys. I might still play when I'm done with this. But this is just the basic look of the little birdie. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun uh, doing this little sweet little spring tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Have fun. Change the bird colors up. Change a different type of bird. Make the egg a different color. Go in and tweak it a little more. I'm going to go back in probably and add just a little, you know, a little more touches of color and whatnot. See, I'm going to add some more of this um, Verdier Blue. Just brighten it up. It's just things, you know, you can tweak yourself as well. Smooth out the egg. Add a little more shadows, etc., etc. So thank you for so much for stopping by. Uh, I hope you have a great day and take care and I'll speak to you soon.